you are watching UCW Zero TV. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for UCW, the greatest wrestling promotion in the state of Utah. Tonight, Guerrero Azteca takes on Jace Battle. Martin Cassells takes on Craig Stevens. And of course, in our main event of the evening, Bronson and Kid Cade go one-on-one. -on -one. But right now, let's take it to, oh, wait a minute. Who are you again? You know me, I'm MK. Yeah, that dude is here with me too, instead of the mask guy. But uh, let's go to the other dude. Coming to the ring first. Suede Thompson! We, we got Suede Thompson. Oh wow, he is back, coming up from Las Vegas, Nevada. And at, as it says on his shirt, he is your wrestlers, your favorite wrestlers, favorite wrestler. He also proclaims himself the richest man in pro wrestling. And you know what? He has a lot of respect for me. Those of you at home just saw, that was a bow to respect me as I respect Wade Thompson as well. Look at the shirt. His shirt says that he is your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler, which is awesome because I didn't know that Tyler Centron's favorite wrestler was Wade Thompson. That's pretty cool. You know what's amazing too is he's garnered some fans since the last time he was here. Someone with a Suederade sign. Well, and you know what? I would rather drink that than uh, than any other sports drink out there. I don't know if you knew this, but when you drink Suederade, you instantly become 20 times more awesome. It's true. It's available in three different flavors How too. How much did he pay you to say that? Well, he does. It's well. It, 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 it's not a ringing endorsement or anything like that. I mean, he has T-shirts for that. For crying out loud. And you know what? I know that you're high up on this Gabriel Busan kid. I am yes. too. He's pretty good. I mean, he's not quite there yet, but I will say a great athlete. I'm going to say one word about him. Okay. Exciting. Exciting is a good word. He's no Swade Thompson, though. You know what? I think he's better than Swade Thompson. Uh, and you know what? You Welcome to the United States, where that is your opinion. You are allowed to have it. And that's what we're going to see tonight. It's going to yeah. be interesting, because this is an intergender match. Uh, yeah, you know you got that right. This is this is the way that this match works for those of you at home who don't know is that it is technically a four-way elimination, but it is a tag in, tag out scenario. So there will only be two competitors in the ring at a time. You can tag anyone in the contest. And you know what? The tag does not have to be intentional. You could tag someone if they're not looking and they have to come in the ring. So like if you and I were in this match, I could slap you across the face and you would be in and I would be out. And that would be a tag. Yeah, that would be a tag, exactly. Well, you know what? You were talking about intergender, and uh, that's what this one is, Lacey Ryan. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Go I was going to say, you know, I like this Lacey Ryan. She is an athlete's athlete. You know, she got into this business because she really wanted to prove herself on the same level as other males. And in pro wrestling, you can do that. We're going to see what she does tonight. And for those of you at home wondering, she doesn't have a brother. I like your shirt. I like your shirt, Swade. Yeah, I know, I know, that's awesome. And then it has, hey, for those of you who are at home, follow us at Swade Thompson on Twitter, just FYI. So basically, that's what he paid you, a t-shirt. No, this isn't my size. I see. I just get to hold it. Well, Dante Acosta, young upstart here in UCW, former UCW Cruiserweight champion here in UCW Zero. He's had some good luck as of late. It'll be interesting to see how he fares in this contest. Now, wasn't he the last Cruiserweight champion? I, I believe like he was fight. as well. This yeah. is so unfair. You know, this gentleman is very impressive. He works hard in the ring. He trains hard. And uh, I think one day we're going to see this guy in the title picture. I, I can wholeheartedly agree with you. I mean, this is, this is a young upstart. Every, you'll, well, you'll notice everyone in this ring right now does not have a lot of experience, but they are great wrestlers, and that's what. Oh, Swade's talking. Swade's talking. And I'm not sure how. Oh, no! starting with <laughs> Japanese no! arm drag. Oh, Dante with the drop kick. Well, that wasn't nice, but it was exciting. No, oh, jeez, I'm crow. It's Wade, uh -oh. Wade Thompson says he's done. I don't blame him. Why is he leaving? Because these people don't show respect. And quite frankly, they're honest. Honestly, they are just lucky that I am here at this table. You know what? An amazing start to a match. The crowd firmly behind what? Lacey. I I don't think it's fair either. That's what you signed up for. Swade Thompson is unfairly being forced to wrestle tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He did not travel from Las Vegas for this cruel, unusual punishment. 
I think he did. Well, and, and it's not cruel and unusual. He is a professional fighter. He's a fighting athlete. What else is he going to do? Well, speaking of fighting, we're seeing a great contest right here between Lacey Ryan and Dante Acosta. Irish grip reversed by Lacey Ryan. What are we going to see here? Ducks that clothesline. And oh, ducks that back elbow. Reverses. Look at this. Springboard. Wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. She is an athlete's athlete. That is what she wanted to do. That's what she's wanted to do her whole life. And she's proving herself right here in UCW Zero. That's interesting. She, uh, her whole life, really? I can't, I, I don't know. I just, eh, four out of ten. Ooh, wow, nice double under her. Look at this! Oh! Pin here by Acosta, Dante, only a two count. Dante Acosta does not seem to be intimidated by the fact that she is female. Well, you know what, Dante is, is you know, 18 years old, he's in an awkward place in his life, and if he has to touch a female, I guess he will. And here we go with the tag, just like you said. It didn't look like Gabriel was ready for that tag, but Lacey wanted to, wanted to get out of there. Well, and you know what, Swade Thompson is, is going to take it easy, and he's not going to worry about getting in here. Now we've got Gabriel Busan. I, I believe he prefers to go to as GT Busan. I could be wrong. No, I think you're right. Uh -oh. You know what? I will have to say that, uh, wow, that was amazing. I will have to say, though, Swing Thompson's tactics are pretty smart. Let the other three competitors beat on each other. You come in and get the quick free count. Well, I mean, I'll tell you this. It's one thing that you can be a veteran inside the ring. It's another thing when you have that ability where you can watch tapes and you can, you can take things from other people's matches and you can bring them and modify them into their own arsenal. Sway Thompson is not just a wrestler. He's a thinker. And the most important thing that he can do right now in this match is not get involved. Well, you know, and I can say that there's a fine line between coward and a fine line between thinker. I, what are you insinuating? Well, I'm insinuating that by the fact that he left the... Uh, arena here that he might be a coward. In no way is he a coward. He doesn't have to tag in if he doesn't want to. And look, right what? now he wants to make a tag. I Pin think he wants to make a tag so he can get the win. Pinfall by DT Busan. We've seen some impressive stuff from him as of late. In the, the crowd going into the That Was Awesome channel, that's something that you always get here at UCW Zero because we are an awesome and the best wrestling organization. Yeah, well, anything with a loud noise to appease these people, if you know what I mean. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. wow. That was interesting right there. That was right across the top chest and the lower neck of Dante Acosta. Got to be hard to breathe after that. It's kind of like when the girls see Oh, the now that was just awful. Why would he do that? Is that mind games or is it cowardly? I call it cowardly. No, you know what? It's strategy. And I don't know where you're getting these mind games. Whoa, wait a minute. What is this? Busan. Oh! Wow. I don't even know what you call that. I call it a video game. That's Two. exactly right. For real this time, for real, for real. It's pretty clear that, you know, GT Busan either spent his time in one of two places, a dojo or the 90s arcade. I think he probably did a little bit of both. Yeah, probably. See, basically he gets his ideas from the video game and works on them feverishly in the gym, yeah, in he, the dojo. He went to Tilt. He put in $5 and he got 24 tokens for it. There you go. Ooh! Dante Acosta out of left field with his right arm. And oh, oh <laughs> Swade Thompson doing his same cowardly actions. I'll tell you what, Dante Acosta looks a little bit smaller in this match, but he sure threw that forearm and that, that clothesline. Why are you calling him a coward? I mean, the man just got tagged into the match. He's going to get involved in the match. It's fine. And it's really not a big deal. I think they're going to bring him in the hard way, my friend. No, wait a minute. They can't do this. No, wait a minute. Come on! No! Oh. He doesn't deserve this. That man is an athlete, and you will respect him. There you go. See, look at that. That's athlete. That's oh, athleticism right and there. He, just a few moves Did and you he tags see right how in. How far he jumped? He yes, jumped so jumping far. to get out of the ring. That is Olympic athlete quality. Woo! Wow! Look at that right there. Big clothesline right there. It's a double clothesline wow. originally. And now, Lacey really. showing that she takes no seat to any person in this organization. Here we go. Irish whip. GT Busan. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. No one home. GT. Ooh, oh, this is the big stop and the roll-up. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Gabriel oh, Busan hey, has been Swade, eliminated. Swade. Oh, only a one the count for Swade. And this just 
the, hey, the, the man said he was sorry. The least you can do is let him get out of the ring and everything will be fine and dandy. You know, oh, I he, never understood wait, why. No. With this, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness. Oh. I don't like what's happening to my favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler. Well, he's caught in the wrong corner right now. But you know what? It's all, you said mind games. I call it strategy. He calls it strategy. That's exactly what's going on in this match right now. Now he's got to let go. He's got till five. Dante Acosta has done so much in this match. And right now he's doing everything he can to get back in it. He's right? waiting for his second win. That's exactly. So he's doing everything he can. Here we go, yeah. Irish whip, reversed by Lacey Ryan. Here we go, Swade, oh man, big clothesline there by Ryan. Those clotheslines are vicious. You're gonna ask GT a little later on. I'm sure he'll catch his breath at some point. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow, using some power moves there on Swade. Yeah, that's not fair. You slam a guy to the ground and then you roll him up. I mean, that's just cheating. Nah, it's pro wrestling. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, is, is that's just use? terrible. Oh, no, oh my, my goodness. A little bit of sexual harassment reverse there. There's probably a lot of women out there that would like to do that oh to their boss. My wait a minute here. Whoa, hey, hang on. I'm going to check out this view. You talk. Well, wait a minute here. What is she doing out here right now? And, and making the show a lot better. Well, I know my predecessor would be liking this view right now. Yeah, he would. Well, and here we go now. Lacey Ryan telling Marty Daniels exactly where she goes. Oh, wait a minute. Swade. Swade with the roll up. He got it. Attaboy, you know, Swade. Lacey that Ryan not, has been eliminated. Thompson, that was all Marty Daniels. And they're going at it right here. Oh. Right in here, an impromptu match. On the outside of the ring, Marty Daniels and Lacey Ryan. Wow, oh my goodness. Throwing at each other like a Pier 6 brawl. It's hard to pay attention to the action in the ring with this going on. Oh! We missed Dante Acosta down on the middle rope. Sway Thompson calling for the 702. Oh! Marty Daniels and Lacey Ryan went into the back. They're probably still going. We'll have to see if the boys can uh, slow things down. Yeah, do we have security? Can like they get on that or something? Oh, oh man! And Dante Acosta, look at this. Nope, foot on the rope. Swade good Thompson. ring awareness. Good ring awareness. Very good ring awareness by Swade Thompson. That's the experience factor right there. You're a hundred percent right, right there. Dante Acosta was able, he thought this match was going to be over, but Swade Thompson able to take over. Well, I don't know if Swade is going to be able to take much more of this, though. No, but you know what? Swade Thompson is smart. I'm sure he's going to bounce back. Oh, look at this. See? Look at that now. Oh, and what oh. an appropriate way of saying goodbye. Out of here. Wow, it looks like Swade Thompson's strategy paid off. Sitting back, laying Ladies in wait and gentlemen, to take your the match winner, in the one, two, three. Swade Thompson! Swade Thompson! Uh, what a sign of disrespect, spitting on Dante Acosta. That's just terrible, that shouldn't be tolerated. Dante Acosta worked his butt off out there. He got caught by a couple of bad breaks. I'd like to see these two in the ring again. Well, no doubt about it. And you know what, Swade Thompson, as well as uh, his other Cincinnati Fury member, Dylan, they, they have entered their way onto the main roster, and Swade Thompson is looking to make an impact. Who knows? Maybe he'll make an impact onto the regular scene here, ECW Zero, the regular single scene. And I tell you what, folks, we've got a lot more coming up here, so don't you dare. Well, you can subscribe to the channel, but don't you dare change.
You think you can just come out here, do whatever you want? Cassidy runs things around here. Not you. Do you understand that? You do things according to what I say. You need to learn this. You didn't do it tonight, so I have no problem teaching it to you in the ring. Hey, hey, we've talked about this. No one cares what you guys have to say. What Cassidy's saying that he runs things, runs things here on uh, UCW. And I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't read the memo about him becoming the general manager, so we'll have to take his word for it. Yeah, I guess so. Exactly. But uh, whatever it was, Manny Money Press was trying to uh, bring something fresh up with uh, someone over there. Oh! Shots right there to the midsection. I don't know if you, if you remember this. Uh, when, uh, what's your name again? MK. Mike, right, got it. Uh, you know, I don't, the thing is though, the last time that we saw Cassie in this ring, it was against Manny Money Fresh. So maybe Fresh has some retaliation tonight. I don't know. Maybe Cassidy just has got some beef with Manny Money Fresh. Well, you know, I talked to Manny Money Fresh in the back, and he says he scouted out uh, Cassidy, watched the tape of their last match. So I think we've got an exciting match right here. Now, one thing I don't understand is why Manny Fresh is popping the crowd as opposed to going right on top of his opponent. Because he's a rookie. Because he doesn't know anybody. Because he has signs in the crowd that says that he's Manny Manny Fresh. He's, he got, he's got fanatics. I'm telling you, he's got more fans than he's got a And Cassidy pulling the oldest trick in the book. Getting. Oh, look. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. He scouted that. He probably saw it from the last match. Cassidy missed out. Look at this big body slam right here from Manny Money Fresh off of those ropes and a big elbow drop right there by the man who questions himself. Only a two count right there. Cassidy's got to get back into this match. I mean, you don't have a better get disrespected like that. Well, and Cassidy has respect tattooed right on his stomach. Oh, working the leg, going right off the back of that It's, it's a self-respect. Like, you know, like respecting yourself, uh, going to the gym, making a living, like, like that kind of thing. It's not a respect for others. Who's, a, who's this chick? I don't know who this chick is. I don't know. You know, I didn't anticipate someone coming out of Cassidy. Um, and Jalen comes out by himself over this tag team partner. But uh, we'll have to find that out later. I mean, you know what I mean? This is going to be good. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, boy. Here you go. Ready? You're watching at home. Oh! I'll tell you what. That is three-inch schedule. I mean, that is six-inch schedule 80 pipe. Cassidy, that's not Martin, it won't break that easy. Wow. You know, I have actually seen Cassidy break rings before. What? What are you talking yes. about? Yes, he has actually broken rings before. What, like, like wedding rings? Like he's broken up marriage? No, I mean actual wrestling rings. His style is so hard that he has broken rings before. Like what part? Turnbuckles. He's bent turnbuckles. He's bent the ring posts. I guess when we're hard-headed, it's easy to do. Look at this now. Cassidy has been on the offense for quite some time. Going to work that leg. You know, this, really fresh. this has been kind of a traditional match here. We've kind of seen some regular wrestling moves. We've seen body slams. We've seen elbows. Let's see what else we have here. Going for that big leg oh, drop and no one wow. home. I'll tell you what. He went to the well one too many times and paid the price for it. And Manny trying to take advantage of this. Look at this. Big power. Oh, big spine reversal. buster right there. Holy cow. Look at that leg as well. Only a two count right there. I thought Cassie had this match. And it was done. Oh, yeah. Enough. Well, Manny Money Fresh taking every millisecond of that count to try and get back in tune with what he has to do in this match. Look at this now. Manny Money Fresh getting choked out by... I don't, what do I call this girl? I'm, I'm going to call it a fedora. Well, what I'm going to say is how many times in professional wrestling do these referees have to be distracted? I'll tell you what, if I was repping, the first time someone started talking to me, I'm going to look at the opponent because you know that's what's going to happen. We do? Why do? Well, how do these refs talk? I don't know. That was my question. Maybe you can tell us. Uh, no. Hey, look at this, though. Cassidy has got Manny Money Fresh right there in the corner. Oh my goodness. 
kick to the face. Look at this! Oh! You know, I'm going to tell you something. Cassidy is a very accomplished wrestler, and sometimes he chooses not to be because of, of that's his style, and he pays the price for it. Look at this now. What is this? Oh, oh my, my goodness. That's probably not going to be it. Only a two count right there. And wait a minute. What is. What, I, I'm going to call her Fedora Rojo. Because she's wearing a red Fedora. Look at, why does she have a chair? That's a chair now. Oh, oh, back on the same one that he was working on before. You know what? The, they say the most dangerous weapon is distraction. That's correct. Well, I don't know if they say it, but I do. No, I, I, and I've heard it before as well. Almost a figure four here. Let's see if Manny can get to the ropes and reverse it here. Definitely a modification right there. Cassidy putting all that pressure on that left leg of Manny Money Fresh. Fresh has got to tap out to this. There you go. Oh, there we go. He just couldn't take it anymore. And Cassidy takes the Your match. winner by submission. Just a little submission. bit too much for Manny Money Fresh. Cassidy! He tried for a withdrawal, but Cassidy said no. Definitely. You got that right. Great stuff right there by Cassidy. I don't know who this who Fedora Rojo is, but Cassidy coming out here saying that he runs things. He was showing how he ran things by defeating Manny Money Fresh tonight. And I will say Manny Money Fresh is now 0-2 against Cassidy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, all the scouting in the world and all the scouting he did, he still didn't have the shot to do it. I don't know. Do you think we'll see these two in the ring against each other again? You know what, it's quite, oh, look at this, Cassidy, insult to injury, and that could just very well be an injury right there. I'll tell you that much. Right in front. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yes! Titantron, they're showing us uh, some uh, footage. What do we have here? Oh, wow! The return of Junior Hey, wait a minute! X. Wait a minute! Oh, Junior X no, he's here crowd. now! It was oh, a fake! Springboard Junior X's return is right now! It was Folks, a fake! Folks, can you believe that? I can he believe it. Oh, he would. Wow, they suckered Cassidy in. I'll tell you what, they made him sure the fool by showing that Titan drawn and then distracting him. Like you said, the greatest weapon is distraction. He's, oh my goodness. He's such a liar. I knew he would. He's always been a liar, and now he comes out here. This is just not right. For crying out loud, I mean, give the man a decent chance. I'll tell you what, that was some very intelligent distraction. That was something the crowd sure happy, and I'm happy to see Junior X right back here. Oh, for crying out loud, oh, will someone stop this anarchy? For crying out loud. You know, we've got to organize things, folks. I don't. Junior X returns. And we've got more to come. Stay tuned to UCW TV. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids six and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw-0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. Craig Stevens will take on half of the UCW Zero Tag Team Champions in Martin Casaus. And uh, M. K. K. Mart, you are, uh, you are up. 
I'll tell you what, these guys are no strangers to each other. We've got the best of both worlds here. It's kind of like a tag team match, but with singles competition. I really enjoy what I see tonight. The captain, Craig Stevens, against Martin Casals. Some great stuff right here. The captain, Craig Stevens, definitely a motivated athlete, that's for sure. Finally, Martin Casals and Derek Gennetti were able to defeat the American Pitbulls in tag team action. And it's going to be a great contest here. A lot of technical wrestling. Both men in this match have amateur wrestling backgrounds. It's going to be interesting to see. That's for sure. And look at this. Craig Stevens doesn't have a tag team title to give to some random underage girl in the crowd. Imagine that. Well, you know, that's Martin's job now. And his opponent, former Tough Enough contestant, Martin Casso! Now, what's not to like about this gentleman? Former yes. Tough Enough, he is a champion, multiple champion. What an amazing athlete. He's got his hands full tonight in, in uh, Captain Craig Stevens, though. But say those first seven words that you said at the beginning of that sentence. I don't know if I can repeat it. You gotta, you, what's not to like? Say it again. What's not to like? His haircut. Moving on. I'll tell you what. This gentleman, multi-champion, very popular, tough enough competitor. He's been in the Fed. He's done it all, seen it all. I'll tell you what. I am very excited for this main event. Martin Casals, half of ECW Zero Tag Team Champions. Last time that he held that was quite some time ago. I want to say he hasn't been a tag team champion in over five or six years. That well, actually, sure. I think the last time he held the title was last week. Isn't that right? He held it? You know what I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just you, want to make sure. Uh, we're... Okay, he got me at my own game, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine that. A guy who's, whose name is two initials. You know, this is the type of match that I really enjoy seeing. We got two technical wrestlers that can high fly. And this is something that you see in the best wrestling organization in the state of Utah, UCW Zero. I am very excited. I'll have to agree with you on that one. Mark South versus Craig Stevens right now. Craig Stevens talking a little bit of smack. Unfortunately, Mark South can back everything up that he says. Here we go now into the lockup. Martin Casals takes control and basically oh, picks up. Wow. I don't I don't I don't mean to be that guy, but I don't know if you knew this. Craig Stevens weighs the same amount as Martin's legs. I'll tell you what, that was just a deadlift and a show of power, a show of strength, a show of experience. I think he was just basically saying, this is what's gonna happen to you tonight. And uh, Craig has to respond. Martin Casals. He, he's, you know, he's just a great overall athlete. I mean, he's gotten farther than anyone else in, in Utah wrestling history, and you got to give him credit for that. I'll give you that much. Craig Stevens now showing a nice little bit of offense. Craig Stevens. Yeah, fireman's carry. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I've talked to Stevens in the past. He says that his goal, his ultimate dream, is to is to turn professional and become the best in this industry. And you know what? I gotta say, I think there might be a height requirement. And I don't know if he can ride that roller coaster. <laughs> well, say what you will about him, but he has been to the top of the mountain in this organization as one half of the tag team champions, which makes me wonder about this match in singles competition whether you kind of look for your partner when you're in trouble. We'll have to see. You can't. And I mean, that's the thing is that uh, these guys have been so used to tag team matches. The pit bull, Jason Jackson, isn't out here to help out the cat of Craig Stevens. But look, let's think about this. Craig Stevens has never held a singles championship before. The only championship that he's held here in UCW Zero is a tag team title. He's never held the, the UCW heavyweight title. He's never held the Ultra X championship. And he's definitely never held the, uh, the, the UCW Mexico title. That's that's correct, and, and, and that's, I think, going to be to his disadvantage. Martin Casals, a accomplished singles wrestler. I think the only time that he held the UCW women's title was when he was taking pictures of it behind Sierra Rose's back. So, you know, I mean, there, there, there's that as well. Martin Casals showing some great athleticism here, and you know what? I, I will give Craig Stevens some flack because I can, and it's very easy to do. But you know what? I think that Craig Stevens does have some, some great things to him. Uh, well, he does, and, and I'll tell you what, you better listen when the, when the captain talks, because he does outrank you. Well, in, in what sense? And he's the captain. Of, of what? A tag team of two people? Ooh. Ooh. Big shoulder right there. Here we go now, the south off of the both ropes. And, oh, my gosh. Look at that now. 
I'll tell you what, both men feeling each other out right now, like in a great prize fight. And Martin seeming to get a little bit of the upper hand right here. You know, Ma Martin was kicked off the baseball team, right? Because it was always swinging a miss. Oh, Every right. single time. Oh. oh, he got one. Imagine wow, that. Wow, that was just amazing. And look at that headlock with authority. I mean, I'll tell you what, I would not want my head between those biceps. Look at this now. Oh, oh big another shoulder. shoulder tackle. Yep. No, you got it exactly right, my friend. You're actually kind of somewhat decent in this. You're better than that one dude who used to be here. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, he used to hide behind a mask, too. You just hide behind sunglasses. That's a lot better. Yeah. A lot of chain wrestling that we're seeing here in this contest. Sweep of leg they're as am well. Their amateur background showing here, and it's like I said, it's like a good prize fight. In the first couple of rounds, the opening rounds, you're feeling each other out, seeing who can get a little bit of uh, advantage here. Oh! Did you see the air on that drop kick? That was amazing. Mountain Casals going, it was at least eight feet in the air, kicking Craig Stevens right in the mush. And that's about the only time that Martin will ever be above six feet. I'll tell you that much. Same with Craig. It looks like Martin is getting a little bit of an advantage right here. Craig Stevens is a little lost. I think he is looking for his tag team partner and there's no one there. See, that's the thing. I mean, these guys were tag team champions from, I believe, uh, around November until until this month recently. So that's the thing is that they've been tag team champions for a long time, and they were tag team wrestlers for a long time before as well. I think this is the first match that Craig Stevens has had in at least four months. And don't get me wrong, I'm not taking away from their singles ability. I'm just saying. You know, no, you know, you get used to a you get used to a flow where you go 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 and then rest, and here you just have to go. You, oh, oh, some chops of his own. I mean, you know, you, you, you do something one style for so long and you're just used to it. You go another way and it's something you have to relearn all over again. Well, and that's that's the truth. But that I you know, I talked to Craig in the back and he says he's been training really hard. He understands the pitfalls that you can come into being a primarily singles wrestler or tag team wrestler, and it looks like he's making the adjustment right now. Oh my gosh. Here we go now. Irish whip. Martin Cassell reverses into the corner. Look at this. Craig Stevens. Oh, Craig Stevens caught. Martin Cassells with a great counter, though. Oh, and a counter of his own right there. Uh-oh. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, who is thinking springboard? And there we see it. Oh, no. no it wouldn't be a Martin Cassells match if oh, Martin's pants Martin's weren't Martin's pants down. didn't come down. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. And that was the referee was on the other side, did not have the vantage point to see that, and there you go. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, that, that's a little PG for Martin. Look at this now, ducks that close. Oh line. my goodness. Oh my gosh, big German right there. He's, oh my goodness, is he gonna not, go for another he's one? He's not gonna let go, he's not gonna let go. And here we go, up and over, and oh my goodness, did you see that ring shake, was that amazing? Martin Casals just taking that German to another level. Craig Stevens is lost, what is he gonna do? Well, and he's, you know, he's not gonna let a third one happen, that's for sure. Stevens backs up, Casals is into the corner. Look at this, big knee right oh, there. Oh my goodness. Casals caught. Greg Stevens trying, but I just don't know if he has enough left in him. Oh, wow. Stopped in his tracks by the big knee. Oh, Ooh, nice bridge. Two, and oh, I thought he had him there. You know, Martin Casals' first bridge was when he played with his grandma. <laughs> get it? It's a card game. I get it. All right, moving on. Martin Casals now applying a sleeper onto the captain, Craig Stevens. Trying to get the advantage here in this contest. Craig Stevens passes out and doesn't respond to the count of three. Martin Casals will come out the victor in this contest with the captain, Craig Stevens, trying to get back in it here. Not gonna let this happen. Well, I gotta tell you what, the crowd is kind of divided here. They're not sure who to root for. Uh, Martin. It's, it's a height thing. You know, I mean, he's already got all those other advantages. Why not add on to that? And here we go. Martin going for the big clothesline right there. Something we've seen from him before, where he just basically puts that power right through the chest of his opponent. Hey, you know what? I mean, you do what you have to in this sport, you know what I mean? Any, yes. way, any way to get the victory. I mean, you don't become a champion by, by necessarily playing fair or working harder. You, you work hard. You work smarter. You don't work harder. That's correct. But I'll tell you what. 
It looks like both of the guys are working hard here. It looks like another big chop coming from, oh, ooh. You know what, I've heard the ones that you don't hear slap are the ones that hurt the worst. I, I, I think you heard that from me. Well, that I did. No, you wanna know. Oh! Uh, that one was loud and had the thud. That yeah. was like, that was like amazing. It's the thud that hurts the most. That's correct. I don't know if Craig Stevens has enough left in him to take him. Oh, here oh. we go. Two. Oh, reversal there. Ducks the clothesline. Look at this. Oh, oh that wow. That backbreaker right there, taking a little bit out of Martin Casals. Oh, and the big elbow. I'll tell you what, I don't know, care how big you are, when someone that size, of any size, lands their body and their elbow on your chest, it hurts. I'll agree with you on that one for sure. Here we go now. Craig Stevens with an Irish River reversed by Martin Casals. Oh my oh, God! Oh, the, the big spear. tackle! Two! Chipping away, chipping away, chipping away at the bigger man. That's what Craig Stevens is doing here. He knows that if he can take away his body, the head will follow. I don't understand why they we're doing tackles here. This isn't football. There's no tackle. Well, like you said, anything you can in a pro wrestling match. Oh, wow. Martin pulling that one out of nowhere. Two and two and three quarters. I can't believe it. I thought we had this match done with. Well, you know what? I mean, as long as there's hair in Casales' face, this match will continue. I'll tell you what, working here, taking a break, making sure that he can rest, but his opponent is being punished. That is the experience and the smarts of Martin Casales. Here we go now, Casales with the advantage, making sure that Stevens doesn't get that elbow out of the way. Not gonna happen in this case. I'll tell you what, this sleeper hold right here, uh, almost a rear naked choke, is really gonna take a lot out of you. What are we gonna see Martin Casals do in this situation? Is Craig Stevens gonna be able to respond? How will Martin respond to said response? Oh. Wow. Martin Casals taking control of this match. It's been back and forth and back and forth. Ooh. Lang, basically, I don't think he was actually going for the pinfall there so much as just examine, ex exerting his force on his opponent and basically saying, I'm going to lay my body on you. You've got to throw me off. Well, and you know what? That's just smart strategy. I think the South has got an additional maybe 20, 25 pounds on Craig Stevens. I agree. I agree with you there. So, I mean, you know, it's not a bad maneuver right there on the South to have. Oh, look at that. Great counter right there by Craig Stevens. With uh, Sous back in it, you know, Sous is just on his A game tonight. Uh oh, ducks the clothesline like this, and duck another line. Uh oh, Sous are we gonna see do? another German? Yes, oh, and are. there was the third German he tried to go for earlier. Oh, I'm surprised that Craig Stevens was able to kick out of that. What are we gonna see here? Craig Stevens needs to get back into this action. Martin Sous not gonna let it happen. Picks up Craig Stevens up against the ropes now. This crowd mostly in favor of Martin. They're asking for chops. Stevens tries to fight back with those knees. Martin not gonna let it happen. Irish whip. War of attrition we're Whoa! watching here. Wow, good monkey flip right there. Two big clotheslines in a row. Craig Stevens. Oh, oh, big knee to the face. Holy cow, one, two. Wow, great ring awareness there by Casals. And you know when the referee yells no more times than the pin count, you probably didn't get the three. Oh, big DDT there by Craig Stevens. I think this one might be over. Going for a high risk maneuver here. Well, and you know what? Normally we see Jason Jackson go for an elbow. What is, oh, Stevens with a headbutt. No one oh, home. Oh my goodness. And I'll tell you what, that'll jar your brain in your head. And that is where you get concussion-like symptoms. Oh, no way. Are we going to see the TKO? We haven't seen that from Casals in quite a long time. That's vintage Martin Casals right there. Oh, Only wow. A two. Jeez, Craig Stevens able to grab something from deep within his body. I'll tell you what, he's a former champion, and he sure has the heart of a champion, able to dig deep to get that kick out. He just basically had enough muster to raise his arm. Martin Casals now, what are we going to do here? Going for that swinging neck breaker. Steven's not gonna let it happen. 
Uh-oh. Here we go. Look at this. Stars and Stripes. Oh, my goodness. I think that's it. That no. is it. Oh, my goodness. He came back. War of Attrition run by Quake Stevens. I cannot believe Captain that he came back from the Craig beat he was given. Stevens! Martin Gonzalez is not quite able to pull this one out. Craig Stevens on the other hand, definitely able to. I got to say, that was quite impressive from Craig Stevens. He's done a lot of heart and was able to beat the odds in this one. Able to take down the South. I'll tell you what, it always goes to show you that it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the pit bull. It's the size of the fight of the pit bull. Well, Martin Gonzalez is still one half of the tag team champions. But Craig Stevens made it for known tonight that he's not finished with this feud. Main event coming up next. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids 6 and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw-0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. Is scheduled for one fall. Coming to the ring first. <laughs> Bronson! And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling this action. Oh, wait, oh, he's back. He decided to come back. I apologize to my broadcast partner, has the bladder of a 12 year old girl, ladies and gentlemen. But Bronson now is out here for our main event of the evening. And what does MK even stand for? MK actually stands for. Well, it certainly doesn't stand for main event, I'll tell you that much. But Bronson, what did you say about Bronson a couple weeks back? You know, I said that uh, Bronson uh, is off his medication, but he's feeling much better now. Why would you say that? That's, that's personal information. Well, it is personal, but some other things that uh, Bronson actually told me is the reason why he's wearing that mask is it's a symbol, is that uh, he is doing Kid Cade a favor. Because in his opinion, the wearing of a mask is the sign of a coward. You know, considering that I sat next to a broadcast partner for a good six months who was wearing a mask, I would wholeheartedly agree with Bronson. That's what Bronson thinks, and so he basically feels he's doing him a favor. What a smart, smart young man we have right there in that ring. Bronson taking on Kid K, the former... Kid K, the UCW, oh, wait a minute, here we go! Oh, right wow. off the bat, they go right at it. Kid K going right at, oh my goodness, right at Bronson. You know, you'd think that someone would have the decency to at least let me talk about them, but no, they just want to start the match. They just have bad blood and they need to get out. No. Kid K showing he is the UCW Zero superhero, acting like a superhero right now. Uh-oh, look at this! Oh my goodness, wow! You know, and the one thing about UCW Zero, Utah's number one wrestling organization, is we do not have pads outside the ring. So when the wrestlers are going at it outside the ring, that is hard concrete. Yeah, you know, you got that wow. exactly right. Right against hard steel right there. Can you name another sport where the athletes get to fall on concrete? I don't know. I can't name one either. Well, and you know what, Kid Cade is bringing everything that he's got to Bronson right now. I'm pretty sure Kid Cade would like that mask back maybe at some point. Oh, no. Oh, big reversal right there. Great technique Another reversal. right there. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Drop toehold into this chair. And you know what, UCW has a great insurance plan. Unfortunately, it doesn't cover dental. I'll tell you what. Uh-oh. Bronson trying to take advantage. Look at this now, Bronson top rope, taking it to Kid K, big oh, missile drop wow. kick. 
That was amazing. Bronson taking advantage of the work on the outside and the referee being kind of liberal in this match. Well, you know what? I mean, that's that's the thing, you know, UCW, we've got some great officials, we've got some not so great officials, and then, you know, we've got the official in the ring. And I'll tell you what, this official in the ring is now starting to take control of this match. Bronson now taking advantage right here, that head to the to the turnbuckle right there. Knowing he has a five count, he's going to take advantage of that. You know, what? if I was Bronson, I would work on Kid Cade's two front teeth, assuming they're still back. Exactly. I think a fan in the first row picked it up and is going to have Kid Cade sign it for him later. Oh, uh, well, sign it or, you know, use them for his own. Good! Oh, wow. Double knee to the chest. Double knee to the chest. I'll tell you what, that looked like that took everything out of Kid Cade. And instead of going for the cover, you've got Bronson choking him, taking advantage of that five count. He looks like he's trying to punish him instead of going for the pinfall. And look at Bronson just going crazed, going crazy right here against Kid Cade. Into the ropes, Irish whip, looking for the big clothesline, ducked by Kid Cade, coming across, oh, going for a clothesline of his own. Bronson doesn't know what hit him. And a big arm drag. Let's see what Kid Cade can finish this up with. Oh, a big shoulder block. Bronson looking like he doesn't know where he is. Wow, leg to the head. Kid Cade wants the crowd to cheer him on, taking energy from that crowd like all superheroes do. And you know what, I'd like to congratulate you, MK, because what you just did was talk for at least a good 45 seconds straight, and that's something that I think Los Moshi never could do. Oh, you know what, I did it in English. Well, I, that too, that is that as well. I'm glad that we finally got someone where subtitles aren't necessary. Bronson got some good offense right there on Kid Cade. Most of the offense that Bronson has gotten in on, though, is just strategic defense. It's almost like we're getting an interception and you take it back to the house. In this case, it's just it's just Bronson being smart, moving out of the way, and making so that Kid Cade hurts himself. Great strategy right there. Well, it was good strategy, but I'll tell you something. I've got to take some time out to say, is this not like a really good main event? This is a great main event, especially for two guys that you don't often see in the main event. And you know, Bronson being a young up and comer even though I believe he's in his second year of wrestling, he's still very young, not just as a, uh, in his business, but as a human being as well. Well, you know what's great? Main event, best match of the night, right? Best match of the night in the best wrestling organization. This is amazing. It's living up to its billing. I hear it's the reason why people tend to stay. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at this crowd. This is, the, this is what, the third sellout crowd in three weeks? Yeah, we've got... We've got And once again, could go for the cover, but he just is going with punishment. Oh, great stuff right there by Bronson. Kid Cade looks like he's taking a breather, but he, I don't know, is he, is he, it's hard to tell when these guys, have, when the masked wrestlers are there, if they're hurt or if they're playing possum. But Bronson just choking Kid Cade, and Kid Cade taking all his strength to throw him off. Well, I mean, you know what? I don't, I don't know about you, but I mean, I don't. Oh wait, Cade almost went for that shining wizard. Instead, he'll just kick Bronson in the back of the head. That's one way to knock your opponent unconscious. Oh, and Bronson garnering enough strength to kick out. Looks like it didn't do quite enough though. As uh, only able to get a two count was Kid Cade. Look at this now, Bronson just taking it right there to Kid Cade, and oh my god! Oh my goodness, you know, he started that with the face rake, reaching right through that mask, and finishing up with a great move. Bronson right now gonna go for the pin. 
I'll tell you what, if he would have jumped on him a little quicker, he might have had the one, two, three. Bronson only getting a two count, telling this crowd to shut up, and I'm right there with him. You know what, if he would pay a little more attention to the match and less attention to the crowd, he might have won this match. Bronson. Taking it to Kid Cade right here. Oh, wow. And I'll tell you what, Kid Cade showing his experience, showing that he is a former champion, showing everything and taking it to Bronson right now. It looks like we're seeing the beginning of the end right here. Kid Cade, what's he got left in the arsenal? I don't know if he's got too much left. Bronson as well in the same scenario, pulls him down to the middle turnbuckle right there. Bronson with the advantage here. He's got the mask. Is he gonna, gonna attempt to choke out Kid Cade with his own mask? Well, it is a symbol and he was trying to say, you are a coward. Oh, you know what, that was just smart. That was just smart right there by Bronson. Oh, and only a two count right there. Kate saying that it wasn't going to end quite that easily. Look at this. Roll up. There you oh, go. Wow. Bronson, like you said, the best weapon is distraction, and using that distraction to his Your advantage. Your winner. Taking that mask, distracting the referee. Pulling Bronson. The one, two, three. Great distraction right there by Bronson. You know what, Bronson now has full control of the final contest between him and Kid K, and I think he's gonna make an announcement right now. I am not a psychopath. You soon will all realize that there is a method to my madness. Since I won Cade, Next time we face each other, win, I win. Not only do I keep this mask, not only do I get that mask, but you can never, ever wear a mask again. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. That, that's a that's a big risk. That is something that uh, I haven't seen for quite a while. And now the question I have is, what happens if Kid Cade wins? A dark, a dark day for Kid Cade, that's for sure. Josh Damien alongside with MK here. We'll see you in the same time, in the same place next week. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Tickets are $10 for general admission and $3 for kids 6 and under. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw-0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain.